Oh yeah, no, you're good, you're good, um, no problem. It looks like you guys had a pretty good conversation. Yeah. Um, is that just, uh, what, what, what were you trying to either get across or what did you see when the incident happened? Well, I, th I thought he made a double move. He did a slide job on me off of four, which is fine. He was plenty clear. And um, I was fine with crossing him over going bottom. And I felt like he came off the wall and blocked me bottom, so I went top. And um, I was there, or you know, had a run to be there. And um, he said a spotter called him outside. And he was, you know, following his mirror. And um, obviously, we we went wrecking. It seemed like a productive conversation, at least. No, not really. We just pretty much agreed to disagree. Um, he didn't think he did anything wrong, which was which was fine. And you know, I've been you know through some former opportunities where you know I was ultra aggressive or. Maybe trying to take equipment that was, you know, good enough for 13th that day and trying to run seventh with it and wrecked a lot of stuff in my career. And Roger's a good kid and, um, you know, got a lot of talent. And I guess that's the message I was trying to get across to him was uh, just, man, just finish these things. Like that was, I, I think, you know, without any proof, I think that was his best run to date he had going. And, um, you know, man, just, you know, if it's fifth that day, finish fifth and build on it. You know, we, we're in the beginning of a five race stretch and it's important to keep these trucks together. And um, I just thought that was a little too aggressive blocking that at that point in the race. So since you do have, you know, some of these situations in the past that you've dealt with on your own side, does it kind of give you a little bit of a grace with some of these young guys who are still learning? It? Yeah, I'm not mad at him. You know, he, he, you know, I part of me is blames myself. I should have probably known better versus, you know, looking at how he was racing me the previous two or three laps. Um, but at the same time, it's I thought I had a truck capable of winning. We made a good adjustments and won that stage. And um, So I wanted to get all I could get. I didn't want to give up a spot. It's so hard to pass in these trucks. And it's, it's hard to just lift for a guy when, you know, when I, I felt like I was better than him at that point. So, um, yeah, obviously, looking back, I, I wish I, I would have lifted for him. But at the same time, he was being ultra, ultra aggressive with the blocks. Now that Thank we're or halfway through the regular season, what's your overall thoughts on how the season's gone thus far or for you and your people? All right, Roger, can you talk about what, what was discussed between you and Ty Majeski there? Yeah, just kind of agree to disagree. He felt like I double moved, and I don't think I did. I felt like I just I picked the top um, just to not give up my right side. Good job, dude. Um, yeah, I mean, it was just one of those races, man. It's just, just tough. You finished uh, one. I can't seem to finish <laughs> I'm one. I'm sorry, I? buddy. You're good. Good job. Um, I mean, just agree to disagree, right? He's the veteran, and um, a couple years ago, right, he was in the spot that I was in, just trying to make a name for yourself in this in this league in the series. And um, with how long it was to go, like on TV, you know, I was a little mad, but looking back at it, it was still 70 laps to go. So I definitely could have just sucked it up there and gave up the spot, and you know, that could have been us because I felt like we would have blown by those guys with the new tires there when we got going so I just I'll just keep my head up and keep digging for the next four weeks but really stinks and I mean do you you don't expect any trouble in the future no I mean it it's good there to, to have respect from them guys um because it luckily like we the truck had speed tonight and I was doing the best I could and um I don't expect that um he said he wouldn't I don't expect that I'm not going to do anything different Besides, like, you know, awareness there of how long it was to go and not to end up with a wrecked truck. So don't think anything else will come of it. But before that, you were still running up in the top five. You had a really great speed. I mean, how much confidence does that give you knowing that you had a speed that could possibly contend for a win there? Um, I mean, the confidence has been there all year. Uh, it just hasn't all come together, and it was close to tonight. But uh, just use your error there. So keep on digging and kick ass at Darlington. I think Grant and Finger wins today. What does that mean for this team? It's great for the team, um, especially with this week. Like, you know, I told a lot of people my world got flipped upside down with them switching in, um, not knowing what I'll do next year. So uh, it's great for the team to, to keep focus, and I know my team's going to be even more hungry now. Um, because, like I said, that could have been us. I felt like we would have been a lot better running the fence and uh, just the L I have to take tonight, unfortunately. Thank you, Roger. Better luck next week. Hi, this is Steven Stumpf. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, check out the two videos beside me, and for more racing content, visit frontstretch.com.